Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to make a comparison video between Primora 9 and Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020 to help you decide which software is right for you. So in my opinion, these programs are a good, both good video editor. Um, they are very simple to use, uh, user friendly and uh, video rendering speed is very fast. There's a lot of video effect, transition and title template right inside the program. So I will try to show, show you the differences between two programs uh, in this video so you, you know uh, which software is suitable for you. Okay, so uh, I would not say uh, which one is better in this video, but just uh, show you the differences uh, between them. Okay, uh, here, here we have uh, Filmora 9, and uh, this is uh, Movavi, Movavi Video Editor uh, Plus 2020. So you can see that they are the, the user interface is, is very similar. On the right side, you have the preview window, and on the left side of Movavi, you have uh, the main category where you can access to your media library, video effect transition, title, sticker, and more tools. And at the bottom is the video editing timeline uh, where you drag and drop your footage and title right here uh, to show up on your preview windows. So that is the same uh, with Filmora 9. Vimora 9 is also the same. On the right side is a preview window, and on the left, uh, no, uh, at the on the left corner are there seven seven main category where you can access to media, audio, title, transition, video effect, elements. Element is similar to sticker in Movavi Video Editor Plus, and split screen uh, template. Uh, and down, down below you have the video editing timeline so where you put your footage right here and to show up at the preview window right and then both program both program allow you to add up to uh, 100 100 different video track on the timeline so they are very, very similar okay move up here also you can also go to the track manager to add more video track right here so the same right Alright, so let's talk about the differences between them. Uh, firstly, about the interface. So uh, here you see that on the left side of the of the windows, of the on the left side of the window are the main category in uh, Movavi, but there's no no text, uh, nothing to show. Uh, so you you can click on this button and not just uh, hover to this button, and you see that it is import. So you can import uh, media and. You can hover to here so you see sticker and but in in filmora uh, they have text here so beginner can uh, recognize uh, easily recognize uh, this media audio title so they have words uh, under the category so that is the first point and the second thing i want to mention is about the media library uh, in movavi you import also import uh, import file into the library by uh, drag and drop and also you can add Add file from your computer, for example, for your from your computer like this, and you select open. Then uh, you need to go to the media bin, media bin to see the, see the file. And there's no way to organize your your folder inside the media media bin. You you have the only option is to sort by name, by date, and by last edit. So all all the file are here, and you have no option, no other option, okay? And this plug icon will, uh, will let you import uh, app folder, music, and media file. Or do some other stuff. Uh, but in Filmora 9, in Filmora 9, you have the media library, and now you can create more folder. You can create more folder, it's important. You can rename it, rename it to whatever you, you want, Canon 2. Or something like that if you shoot with uh, many camera it's very important to organize your footage and uh, added to that uh, when you import it into the library you have the option here is a view option you have list view list view will show you the name uh, the type and frame rate and so all, all the information the important information of the video and you can also change this to thumbnail large thumbnail or middle thumbnail so normally I would choose a middle thumbnail. Uh, added to that, uh, you have here to sort all 
to see all the file or all the video or image or audio so in this case i think Filmora 9 is better better than uh, Movavi uh, in this uh, media library okay okay so that is about the library and here is a split screen uh, in Filmora 9 with Movavi uh, Movavi video editor plus 2020 doesn't have doesn't have any split screen template and uh, added to that it doesn't have the uh, blending mode right here for example in uh, Filmora you double click on the clip and you have the compositing compositing tab and here you have different option at the blending mode uh, linear color by uh, color burn and overlay so in Movavi you don't have okay in uh, Filmora, Filmora you have uh, you go to the effect and go to utility and you have the the option to add uh, image mask into the uh, into your footage like this so uh, many different kind of masks of course there's no freehand mask uh, in this program but Movavi it doesn't have okay uh, in uh, Movavi let's go to more tools and they have overlay option so they have overlay option so there's just some simple mask one two uh, three four five six seven eight so eight type of mask and it is not adjustable just uh, this uh, this side uh, square on left on right so I think in 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 this situation Fimura night is better better than Movavi okay now let's talk about text and title and uh, here in uh, Fimura I can count uh, easily count it uh, the number of the text template inside Filmora 9 is many, many more. It's more. It's more than in the Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020. So you see here, 280, uh, 278 uh, viewing template, and also uh, I have free pack from uh, Filmstock. A uh, lot more wedding pack. Wedding title pack, uh, Lily Vera's pack, uh, Legacy. In uh, Movavi, it is uh, not as many as in Filmora. Here is all the all the text title, right? I just count it about 50, uh, 50, 50 to 60, no, 54, uh, 55 different uh, title template. But in in Movavi, you have some intro video. So about. Uh, 20 different intro video Uva, uh, Filmora 9 doesn't have okay the template and for the transition and video effect I think uh, they are the same they are pretty much the same uh, many there are many kind uh, many different kind of video effect and transition all right so uh, let's talk about the color color grading uh, tools uh, in Filmora 9 and Movavi because I think uh, they are a little bit different in Movavi you have the the option to uh, color grading your footage auto so with auto contrast and auto saturation auto white balance and it is the same in Filmora 9 you have also the option to uh, color correction automatically uh, but I never use this uh, this feature in Filmora 9 because I think it's bad it's not very good uh, but in uh, Movavi you have another option is to go to advanced in the advanced option you can adjust the white balance brightness contrast and saturation and and so on and there's no option no option to add lots uh, lookup table lookup table to your video so uh, adding LUT to your video is uh, very important and many many uh, other video editor has this option and Filmora 9 has this option okay and here if you go to uh, down here you have a 3d LUT uh, right? and you can add there uh, add your old LUT uh, by loading a new LUT into the into the program or use an uh, use a viewing LUT inside inside Filmora so that is the difference between uh, between them and the advanced advanced color correction uh, tool is also a little bit different in Filmora there's more tools for you and uh, you can adjust the white balance uh, color tones color uh, lights and HHL uh, where saturation and luminance and you can also uh, adjust the vignette 
but in Mova we it is uh, you don't have all, all, all that stuff uh, only this uh, you, we can uh, adjust the saturation contrast and highlight and shadows and also adjust the temperatures of the footage okay one more thing I want to mention in this uh, video is about animation so the animation in uh, Movavi in Movavi video editor plus 2020 I think it's a little bit uh, better than uh, than the motion option in uh, Filmora 9 in Movavi you have the option to uh, to add keyframe animation keyframe to your video uh, and you have also easy and advanced uh, advanced mean that uh, you can add animation yourself into the uh, in into your video and you can also adjust the uh, double click and adjust the, the motion I, I mean uh, adjust the, the the animation of the video like this All right add more and add more keyframe to this and then uh, rotate go back and review So that is more flexible than the motion option in Filmora. In Filmora, you can uh, add motion to your video image and also text, but uh, it is very limited. So you have the, the built-in motion in your video and you cannot control it. You can only shorten the clip or split. For example, you can uh, shorten the clip to speed up the, the motion, speed up the, the animation. So do, you don't have the uh, animation keyframe like in Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020. So I think in this, uh, this option in Movavi is better than uh, Filmora 9 and chroma key they are, have the same so i think chroma key the same both program uh, do very well uh, when you want to uh, remove green screen for this slow motion when it comes to slow motion it uh, a speed control speed control in 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 Filmora and in Movavi Video Editor Plus is a little bit different. For example, here you can uh, in Movavi you can uh, double click on the clip and then you can increase the, uh, the speed. That is, uh, you can change the speed, right? And you can also make a slow motion by reduce it to 40% or, or 60% or or whatever you like. Just double click. And then adjust the speed right here but in Filmora it's a little bit uh, more difficult uh, this clip uh, you need to press and hold your control and then you uh, use uh, right and drop uh, right the edge of the clip uh, to control the speed of your video and of course you can right click and go to uh, speed and duration in in both program to control the speed and also you have the uh, the button uh, speed button right here uh, to control to slow down how many percent and to fast forward and reverse in Fibora uh, but in Movavi you can just uh, check this box and to reverse the clip and uh, adjust this slider uh, you don't need to press and, and hold control uh, key on your keyboard to control the speed in Movavi okay the last thing I want to mention is about the performance uh, performance so they are they're pretty similar they are both program allow you to uh, great proceed for for editing uh, editing smoother uh, on low and uh, low end laptop or PC but uh, a little bit different in Movavi you have the option to go to setting and go to preferences and then you add the acceleration you can enable your hardware acceleration and also optimize HD clips which is similar to Proxy. it uh, it allow you to create a smaller version of your the footage uh, lower quality uh, footage uh, to help you uh, editing video uh, faster smoother right uh, but whenever you imp uh, import whenever you import the footage onto the timeline uh, go back uh, let's select this footage then you then you drag and drop it onto the timeline uh, it start uh, optimizing HD clips so it take uh, it take a long time uh, 
you need to st stay there and during this time you cannot do anything with the uh, with your um, video editor you cannot split and because it's, it's very lag it is laggy uh, but in Filmora here yeah, in Filmora you can just uh, drag and drop all your footage onto the timeline and it, if, it, if it is a long footage then you can choose uh, lower the resolution lower the preview quality on uh, here uh, like 1.8 or, or 116 or something like that and you can start editing right away you don't need to wait until you uh, until it finished uh, optimizing HD clip or something like that okay so I think in this case Filmora is better uh, more advanced Alright guys, so that's all the information I want to share with you in this video. I hope it is clear enough for you to help you decide which software is right for you. If you have any question about, about this program, let me know at the comment section below. I know that there's some, some other information I, I, I cannot mention or I for, forgot to mention in this video. Let me know also. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.